All this equipment and stuff I have behind me, it just doesn't matter. I thought that if I bought this gear, I worked long hours, I read a bunch of books, then that's what would make me successful. And that was all false. It was all an illusion. If you're not where you think you need to be in your production career, then I think this video is really gonna help. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you my personal process of how I went from having zero placements, and this wasn't even that long ago. In 2020, only two years ago, I had no placements, to achieving my goal of being a full-time music producer. And it all started with this. This app was called Airtable, and in it, you're seeing how I've mapped out my annual, quarterly, monthly, and weekly goals. By far, this has been the biggest value add to my career. Because I have some sensitive items in my real list, I'm gonna be using a fake version of my 2022 goal list, which I'll be sharing with you today. But this next part is real, and it is the mission statement. A lot of producers do not know the game that they're playing, let alone if they're even winning in that game. And the mission statement is going to be that scoreboard for you. These few sentences tell my entire team the type of producer that I wanna be so that as a team, we can move together, set clear goals, and make this thing happen. I'll just read the first sentence here to you, but I wanna help visionary rappers that are contributing to the growth of the genre and forward-thinking producers who wanna build the sound of future rap music. Right there, any new manager or publisher or assistant or whoever they might be, when they come on board, they know exactly what we are trying to do, the type of producer I'm trying to be, and the type of artists and producers that I'm trying to work with. If I'm ever feeling confused or if they're ever feeling lost, we can always go back to this mission statement. We can read it again and we can ask is what we're doing today aligning with our ultimate goal and where we want to be in the future personally for me this next part is fun and i do want to say here that everything that i'm going to be showing you uh, was definitely based off of what i learned at simple operations with alex Sharp. my best friend jacob alex is a business coach and a lot of what you're seeing today is me taking his business systems and turning them into something that can work for production and creativity dang dude that's really good one of the main things that he's taught me is something called a waterfall your one-year goal should trickle down almost like a waterfall into your nine 90 day goals and then as you continue with the waterfall your 90 day goals they go into your 30 day goals and then your 30 day goals they end up becoming your weekly and then ultimately your weekly goals end up having your day-to-day -day goals that you do when you're thinking about your annual goals you want to be realistic what can you do in one year there's no point in putting down a grammy if that's unrealistic if this is your first year in production do not set those type of goals they're just going to lead to you feeling frustrated instead try and choose goals that are going to help advance your career and things that you have have actual control of. In this example, we have four goals set. They're all realistic. For example, making 30,000 off of music. Don't put $10 million because that's probably not going to happen. Be realistic with your goals. This is gonna help set you up for success. What you wanna do now is take each one of your one-year goals and think about everything that you could do to make that happen. Now, this is very important. Listen to what I'm saying. What you could do, not what you should do. Think outside of the box. Do not limit yourself. And once you've come up with the best ideas, then you can commit to those things. How I do this is in a Google Doc where I clearly lay out all of the things that I need to do to make my one year goal happen. For example, if I wanna make $30,000 a year, what do I need to do? I need to launch a sample pack. I need to launch a YouTube channel. Maybe I gotta do a beat store, go to LA. There's a bunch of different things that I'll need to do here to actually achieve this $30,000 goal. Now that we've clearly prioritized and laid out the tasks for each of our one year goals, we're actually gonna use those task items as the things that we need to do in the next 90 days to push us towards completing our goals. What I like to do is I list them out in Airtable. So now we go from our one year objectives to our 90 day targets. As you can see, release a public uh, loop pack is in here and some of the other tasks that we just committed to. And so now that we have our 90 day targets, we need to do the exact same thing that we just did with our one years. We need to break these down into actionable steps that we can take over the next 90 days to push us towards our goal. For example, if you wanna release a sample pack over the next 90 days, what do you actually have to do? We have to get artwork done. You actually have to make the samples. You might need to create a new website. You might need to create ads, shoot YouTube content. There's a million things that you probably need to do. Again, you need to list out those tasks and you need to prioritize and then commit to them. Now, all those tasks, just like we did before, they're gonna waterfall down and they are gonna become some of the items that we do over the next 30 days. For the bigger tasks, Asks, this is really, really important. You want to ask yourself, is this something I can actually do in 30 days or is it more something like a 90 day commitment? For instance, with the sample pack, if you need to create a whole new website, for some people, you might be
be able to do that in 30 days for other people that might be working a nine to five and only might have the weekends to do this. This might be something that you have to stretch out over 90 days. So just make sure that you're giving yourself a realistic amount of time to actually get these tasks done. So now that we have our one years, we have our nineties and we have our 30 days, we're going to do the exact same process again. We're going to go into those 30 day tasks. We're going to break them down and turn them into our weekly commitments. Now that you've laid out the plan, you have your one year, your 90, your 30 day goals, your weekly tasks, you need to ask yourself this question. If over the next year I did everything that I have laid out in this plan, task by task and got it all done, would it push my production career to the next level? If the answer to this is yes, thumbs up, you've done everything you needed. If it's a no, you want to go back into the plan, fix it until it's perfect and you feel confident that the tasks that you're going to do on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis are all going to lead you back to those one year goals that you set. The best part about this whole planning process for me personally, in my opinion, is that it feels so good not having to guess anymore. I know exactly what I need to be doing, the steps I need to take to get exactly where I need to go. Every day I can just wake up, I can do some of these tasks, and I know at the end of the day, they're all gonna help me complete my goals. But it doesn't stop there. This is the most important thing of this entire process. You actually need to do it. I talk to way too many producers who come up with great ideas and great plans and they never execute. And that's the thing I think is really holding them back in their career. So if you commit to this, commit to it, work on it every day, get it done. What that actually looks like or means for me is that every Sunday around 6.30 p.m., I go over my list of weekly goals and I pick which ones I'm gonna be doing that coming week. I put them into my calendar and that way I know exactly what I'm doing on each day and how much time that I need to get it done. This honestly really helps me not get distracted. If someone says, let's hang out on a Wednesday, and if I look in my calendar and I don't have time to do that, then we don't hang out. To me, these goals are super important. I wanna get them done, and I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to make sure that they happen. So it's 6 a.m., and listen, I'm not telling you that you have to get up at 6 a.m., but the reason that I'm up today is because I did the pre-work yesterday. I saw what I had to do this week, and I have a lot of stuff that I wanna get done. I think the biggest thing when it comes to just goals and goal setting is that, listen, if you say you want this stuff and then you sleep in or you go to a movie with your friends or you go play basketball or whatever it is, that's on you, you know? If you're saying that you want these things, your, your actions have to match that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just kinda wanted to show you a little bit of behind the scenes of what it's actually like, cause it's one thing for me to say, hey, here's a list with all the items that I need to do, but it's another thing to show you like, okay, I'm up every day at 6 a.m., I'm working until probably 6, 7, 8 p.m., trying to get those things done because I believe so much in them, I believe so much in me, and uh, you know, I feel like I kinda owe it to my dreams to actually get up and do that work. Anyway, that's my process. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways that you could go about this. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any questions about my process, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. I am my best friend Jacob here for Sauceware Audio where we try and bring tools, tips, and tricks and other stuff like this to the producer community. And if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. We have a lot more content coming. And if you want more content like this that isn't about tutorials and more about you know what's kind of happening behind the scene, please let me know. I'd love to do some more of this, but until then, see you later.